There, so we'll try and pick up who might be missing for Fitzroy. So Dennis going for uh, the Lions, and West Coast about uh, four to one on, nine to two on favourites to win this match with bookmakers. Opening free kick has been paid to uh, West Coast. Advantage is played. McIntosh at full forward, and Hetty in the pocket. Lewis deep in the pocket, got rid of it in a hurry, off the ground, and rolling across and hitting the behind post. So a Fitzroy kick. And West Coast quickly into attack. Clappe off the ground there. Ashley McIntosh down at full forward. Paxman's got him. Boundary throw in. Manson hooks it behind the pack. Zanotti scrambles it out about 15 metres. Kemp has the run of it. 40 metres from goal to Evans. Evans kicks it down towards goal. He's off target. This is Paxman. In the back pocket. Members side with the kick. The pitch is between the lines. Waterman keeps it in front, close to the boundary line. Feeds it off. This is Wilson, hard against the boundary line. Hoists it inside the 50. Hines the flyer, falls to Hetty. Robbed by Zanotti. He's played uh, each of the seven matches for Fitzroy since coming from Brisbane. Armstrong's handball, OK. Here's Boyd, who was the late inclusion. Free kick going to uh, the Fitzroy player, Brad Boyd, in the centre square. Ruse was on the run coming through. Gets good distance towards full forward. Lynch playing up forward. Free kick and going to Lynch. Djakovic playing on him. Lynch named at full back. And has often been used in attack. And with a free kick from about 40 metres out. Yes, yeah, so a Lynch lining up at full forward, as Bruce said. I thought he may have been the pick for McIntosh at the other end of the ground. But in fact, Paxman is that player picking up McIntosh with Lynch at full forward on Djakovic. Kicks from about 40 metres, straight in front. He's timed it well and looks to have kicked a goal. Goal to Fitzroy, Lynch the opening scorer and the Lions lead by six points. It was a good build up by Fitzroy and with Lynch getting plenty of room in that forward line, all his pocket players are up the ground, the half forwards are right up the ground as well. Plenty of room to lead into here. Gets the front posse and both Djakovic and McKenna into his back and if you're in the front posse, you're always a chance for that free kick. Back in the middle, Manson and Harding, Manson over the top, down to Kemp, swings it out wide, Baldwin leads back in the race, Hetty charging up the ground, did well in a tight situation, this is West, good evasion, out towards half forward, Wilson gathers it nicely, the hand pass though, almost intercepted by Baldwin, Clappe quickly across to Hetty, who's lively early, inside the 50, McIntosh kept it in front, Wind is there, Shovels out the hand pass. Wilson hard against the boundary line. Was bumped in the back. Across the boundary line. It's the interchange for the Eagles with Troy Eagle and Brendan Crummel. And for Fitzroy, Gard and Dundas with the player missing for Boyd is Caven. So a throw in right on the 50. Manson and Harding. The former gets it down. Hetty in the action again. Manson dragged down. And the whistle. Boyd at the base of that pack. So a quiet start here for Eagles fans. Sold out game as the match will be on Sunday night in Adelaide. Gale, who played his 100th last week. Boyd's handball. Broderick to Ruse. Good give. Johnston run down by Kemp. Lamb was there with Stevens. Nice take by Evans. McKenna's handball was excellent to Kemp. Sweeps it out wide to Harding. Had time to steady. Short left footer, OK. Hetty, as Dennis said, lively early. Will kick from just outside 50. Looking for a lead. Goes long. Drop punch. He's timed it. Well, it's right there. Ruse stretches, touches are behind. Good kick, Hetty. West Coast on the board. And they trail by five points. Steve Paxman to bring it in. In short, Jim Wind has it, the defensive side of centre half back. Towards midfield, Stevens working hard behind the pack, enabling McCarthy to mark in front. He plays on immediately. Probing kick inside the 50. Lynch on the lead again. He's marked it almost on the 50. It'll take a good kick from here. 
has the only goal of the game so far. Alistair Lynch. This will be a dream start for the Lions. Good looking kick. I think it's home. It is. The advantage there once more of the Fitzroy forwards playing up the ground and John McCarthy a little bit too elusive here. Michael Brennan just in front of the pack. Brennan losing sight of the ball. And had a very good kick from McCarthy to find Lynch on a good lead who was two or three metres in front of Djakovic and you can't make up that sort of ground on a leading forward. Lynch with both goals and uh, Fitzroy leading by 11 points. West Coast had the ball in attack three or four times. Broderick against the flow. One of his uh, teammates ran into him. Here's Stevens. Long handball. Tap forward by Manson. Ruse will get a free kick at centre wing. Wilson playing on Ruse. And Ruse uh, handballs inside. Kick by Armstrong to centre half forward. Lynch is there. With him, Djakovic. Gale. McKenna tries to hold it up. Gale over the top of it. Tackle by Evans was a good one, and it'll be a bounce up Broderick uh, with a footy. So Fitzroy again deep in attack, inside 50 metres and leading by 11 points. Stevens. It comes back to him. Dragged off it by White. Lamb is in there. Spills wide to Pike. Nicely done. Feeds it out wide to White, who finds Waterman. It's right half back, centering kick. This is Harding. Forward at half back there. Big crowd, glorious night, a warm night. This is Evans alongside the centre circle. Kicks inside the 50. Going back, Eddie, superb effort. He crashed to the turf. Perhaps could have got a kick there. Back it comes to midfield. They stood aside. They parted. And Manson took the mark to Wine, who boots to half forward. Awkward one for Brennan. Confronted by Lynch. Still Brennan. Sockers off the ground and gets it out of bounds at half back. Watch this again. Heady. Falls pretty heavily too, so still recovering from that. A little bit winded. That arm was high over the left shoulder. Tossed in just outside the 50. Brennan goes up. McKenna confronted by Stevens. Evans towards the boundary line. Kemp can't keep it in. Brett Heady uh, recovering. Still uh, limping a little. Important player here. With Sumich and Matera out of the side. Sumich clearly the leading goal kicker for West Coast this year. Hetty a distant second and Matera close up third. So they do need him to be firing tonight. Boyd, late inclusion for Caven. He's picking up Kemp. Looks like he's a good runner. He's an ex uh, Collingwood under 19. Eh? And Stevens uh, does battle with White as we look at the Fitzroy bench. Dundas on the left, guard on the right. Stevens wins the tap, Gale, McKenna runs with him and again out of play. So the scene is set for what should be a fascinating match. Fitzroy off to a good start, the underdogs, with an early break on a perfect night for footy and a free kick going to uh, Stevens. Played one match in the reserves uh, this year when they were beaten by Brisbane and the mark taken by Lynch again. It was a great kick, we've already seen him kick two goals distance will be no worry it's a tight angle and this has been an inspired move by uh, Robert Shaw to play Lynch at full forward if he kicks this it won't bring the house down here but it'll make a lot of people back in Victoria happy drop punt good looking kick again by Lynch through well, what a splendid start. Lynch with three goals and a Fitzroy with a break at 18 to 1. Yes, and a change already been made by Coach Malthouse White now going down. Mitchell White to pick up Lynch. Djakovic up to centre half forward, uh, centre half back to pick up Stevens, who's playing at centre half forward. But uh, the move of Lynch early, as Bruce mentioned, is working out very well. And again, plenty of space to run into. Play restarts back in the middle. Fitzroy, work it forward. This is Baldwin. Back to goal now. Wind in desperate trouble. Down he went. Baldwin could have got a free there. And Will. He's taken high. Off the ball. He's 
on the wing. He shares it with Broderick. Broderick through the middle, kicking towards half forward. Lyon in front. They swamp him. Runs behind. This is Wilson. Swings it out wide. It bounces out of bounds at left half back. Peter Wilson's down there too, Dennis, with the running of Ruse off centre half back. Wilson has played most of his football this season on the back line. Throwing Started at centre half forward. Manson goes up, beaten that time. Kemp to West, hard against the line. Robbie West, a hurried kick. Ricochet off a Fitzroy player and has gone out of bounds. Back in round six of 89, Fitzroy defeated the Eagles by eight points at the Wacker. That night, Richard Osmond kicked six goals. Since then, the Eagles have won 15 straight on this ground. Manson reaching over the top. Boyd, the backhander towards half forward. This is Jakovic. Through the middle, Jakovic kicks inside the 50. Lewis comes with Elliott. It runs free behind. Who's got the pace? Hines has. Hines, 20 metres out, stabs the goal. I think it's coming back, though, Dennis. There's a free kick to Lewis. To Lewis, or it's, no, it's going to Elliott actually. It's going against Lewis for holding Elliott in that previous encounter. So oh. the goal won't count. Let off for the Lions. Now Zanotti's got the ball. You can see that kick. Dunstan takes the mark at half back. And the crowd getting restless very early. No doubting that was a mark. Dunstan, a little indecisive. Former South from Adelboy. Hoisted high towards half forward. Stevens out of position, did well. McCarthy over the ball. Straight to Brennan, across the ground. Good vision, Harding needs to go back quickly. Slaps it on, inside the 50. Johnston with pace. Deep in his own defensive area. Seacamp assisting, heads for the boundary line and finds it to good effect. There's Johnston picking up Brett Hetty last week. Johnston did a very good job on Glenn Lovett of Melbourne and then Tingay. West Coast in attack, needing a goal. Manson with the tap down. Johnston and Lewis were over the top of it. Baldwin was there. And Hines, who played a major contribution in uh, the great comeback. As we look at the free kick, 6-1, to one, the great comeback at Cadinia Park last week. Manson unopposed, whacks it away, but only as far as Pike. Pike's left foot. Uh, no pressure really, but a poor attempt by Pike, who's been in sparkling form out on the full kick to Fitzroy in the back pocket, Zanotti. The former Eagle drives it around the outer side, leap from Hines, it falls behind. Well done by Armstrong. This is Baldwin, slaps it on. Wine has an opportunity now. Feeds it back to Baldwin. Fitzroy playing very well at the present time. The kick down towards the 50. Lyon led back in the race. Dunstan arrived and socketed off the ground. It's gone out of bounds on the bounce and will be thrown in. Michael Dunstan, just a rookie. Started his AFL career in good style. Back home tonight, but the crowd not too hospitable. Jakovic flicks it down. Evans going nowhere. This is Boyd snapping across his body. Lynch down there with White. Ball runs free. Waterman took his eye off the ball. Dunstan turns, kicks, and kicks through. Fitzroy have their fourth goal. The lone clapper. Yes, and Chris Waterman just losing his footing there. He's only got one boot on. Just lost control of that. It was good effort by... White here in this contest was Lynch to get the ball clear. Ricochet is off. Wardham looked to be the player in the box seat, but the ball just avoids him. No footing for that play, and then Dunstan, a great kick. Not quite panic stations for West Coast, but getting that way at 24 to 1. They've had the ball in attack enough and able to convert Kemp to half forward. Well played, McIntosh. There's a battle there with uh, Paxman, then goes short and gets Hetty deep in the pocket, angle tight. It's within uh, 35 metres. Yeah, it was good running by Hetty too, Bruce. He had his immediate marksman, Johnson, on the mark for that uh, McIntosh mark. And the quick kick found him out of position. West provided the first of the leads. Hetty still looking up, undecided. Not sure where to go. 
He's got such skills, you wouldn't count him out here, would you? No. In the pocket, drop punt. Good looking kick, straight through. Well, he made the right decision and kicked the goal. And you get the feeling, Ross, that uh, his contribution tonight is going to be most important one way or the other. It's 1-1 one, one to four goals. Exactly what I was going to say, Bruce. In the absence of Sumic, Hetty becomes the next best goal kicker, and he certainly has a lot resting on his shoulders playing off that half-forward flank. Mind you, the player I mentioned playing on him, Johnson, did a very good job last week and is a very dour sort of player, so Hetty will have to work very hard, but he's good enough. So the margin, 17 points. The next goal pretty important. Crashing through his ruse. This is Gale. Well done by Armstrong. In trouble eventually, though. Weight of numbers told. Wilson working hard at the base of that pack, and we've got a whistle. Four goals straight to 1 1. Just over 12 minutes remaining till quarter time. Alistair Lynch, what a flyer. Three goals so far in the game. Warsfold back over his head. Pike having a wonderful season. A quick boot. Seacamp nicely done to Ruse, who loves playing against the Eagles. There's a cross the ground in front Lyon. McKenna superbly done, stole it, and then had it stolen. Baldwin, McCarthy on the lead. Great football. Yes, McCarthy and Lynch need to change now. McCarthy up to the half. Uh, McCarthy to the full forward area, and Lynch on that half forward line. Now giving McCarthy the chance to run into space, and McKenna did well, then just lost his footing. And a great delivery there. Good lead. I was talking about Paul Ruse. Pulled six Brownlow medal votes in two games against the Eagles last season. And I think from memory, the previous year, in the last game they played, they played an absolute clinker at Subiaco. Here's McCarthy from 40 metres out. Not as good as Lynch. He misses to the left-hand side. So the margin is 18 points. 21 goals in five matches before tonight for John McCarthy. White goes short, had a couple of options, McKenna or Brennan. McKenna, who was in great form last week, handball a bit loose, but able to get it back. And now Brennan, who ran for him well, is right up to centre wing, goes short. Wilson diving attempt, unable to. And Fitzroy hold it up. And as Dennis said a moment ago, the next goal important here. West Coast, um, 18 points in arrears. And if Fitzroy can get the next one, they stretch it again. Um, to a very comfortable margin before quarter time. Harding's free kick on centre wing. Ironic cheers from the uh, 30,000 here at the whack of the sellout crowd. Harding's kick uh, in the McIntosh Lewis direction. Paxman was at the back. Zanotti was there. Elliott across the front. Lewis took hold of it, got rid of it in a quick hurry. Uh, Hines was there, forced forward by Fitzroy. Wind over the top. Hamble was effective to Elliott. Elliott's kick to centre wing, taken by Jakovic, who uh, had to be shifted very early after Lynch had booted three. Jakovic runs a long way and then dumps the ball towards Hetty. Went for a ride, couldn't get it in the end. McIntosh well played. Hamble is good. Left foot snap by Waterman is a goal. An important one. The one that West Coast really wanted here to get back on track. Yes, and the runner coming out to Jakovic saying, well done, you've run off the player there. Bruce, as you said, nearly ran too far. In fact, he could have got booked. But the kick was a good one. Hetty got blocked in his run for a jump here. Well done by Johnson there. Ruse nearly the mark, but good hands here by McIntosh. And Waterman, who could have kicked on his right, preferred his left and did the rest. So it's back to 12 points. Manson gets it down. Dunstan in trouble. Quickly onto the boot. And about five metres towards goal. Wind. Down he went. That's Boyd at the base of it. And a bounce. So Fitzroy starting well. The Eagles steadying now. Bounce adjacent to the centre circle. Free kick is going Harding's way. He receives quite a few and gives very few away. Only three free kicks given away by Paul Harding this season. As it's run across the boundary line by Mark Zanotti. Toss in about 55 metres out from goal. Hines and Manson. The Eagle won it. The Lion got it. Seacamp. Not a good hand pass though. Well done by Ruse. Down with Elliott. In goes Wilson. Socket off the ground there by Baldwin. 
Out wide. Lamb leads in the race. Hasn't got the ball. Paxman had him. Lamb, great desperation. And a whistle, and we'll have a ball up. Well, Lamb, quite obviously, went close to getting a free kick there. Very unlucky, the, uh, the veteran, 138th game. The most uh, for the club. It's interesting there, Ross, because McIntosh is reputed to be one of the quickest players, if not the quickest, and Paxman gave him a start and beat him. Just wonder if he's 100%. He's just be a little cautious, I would say, with that uh, thigh. Manson Harding. Harding won the tap. West Coast mounting its challenge. Elliott. Lewis robbed him cleverly. Left-hand handball. I don't know if it was the right option. Hetty under great pressure. Oh. Gets a free kick. Too high. Where's his handball? Put Hetty under oh. the hammer, didn't it? He was standing still. He might have been better off to, to bang it in long. Anyway, Hetty's got it. Centering kick. Cut off by Armstrong. No free kick played all mark. Wine under a bit of pressure. Quick kick away. West Coast comfortably. Djakovic. And they have steadied the reigning champions. Defending a magnificent record, as Dennis pointed out at the whack of the kick to fall forward. McIntosh, a big fly. Nicely read by Wine. Ruse. Broderick, he should sweep onto his left foot. Clever kick. Saw Stevens inside. Went for him in the corridor. Stevens back to Broderick, who's been prominent early. Again short. That's not so good. Djakovic off the ground. Brennan stretched. Couldn't make it. McCarthy goes off the ground. Not all that effective because McKenna's back. Runs it towards the boundary line. Has the skill to take a chance. Take a man on and come away. Bounces once and careers out of defence. Towards midfield. Lewis on the lead. Wilson is free wide. He goes to Wilson just outside the 50. Runners inside. Thought about it. Now he goes. Kemp 45 metres out. He'll go for Goldine Kemp. He's missed to the near side. They're behind. But the Eagles creep closer. Quick end-to-end -end work. And a real illustration of modern-day football. Fitzroy sweeping it down the ground. Turn it over at half-back. And suddenly, it comes back very quickly. Paxman stabs it in. Boyd, who's been prominent, has the ball at half-back. Ruse breaks for him towards the outer side. That's the direction the kick takes. Harding over the top. Thumps it away. Well played. He didn't want the ball on the ground. Ruse would be hard to beat in that duel. He's a thinking footballer, Paul Harding. Tossed in. Having said that, he misses the ball. Just a bit of plan in it. There's Boyd. Down he went. This is Warsfold. Gets the kick off towards half forward. Zanotti drops the mark. Then goes off the ground. Oh, nice take. Good hands. It came at Baldwin quickly. It was a reflex job. And, uh... His disposal's been good so far. That one's up in the air to centre wing. Brennan was at the back. Broderick on top of it. Might have thought he could have got a free kick. Here's this thinking man, Harding, who's uh, done very well for West Coast. Good take, Hetty. Crashes in. Oh, played it well, Hetty. Under great pressure. Was able at least to force it forward. And now the ball rolls out. With just over five minutes remaining. Oh, just the best night imaginable. It was pretty cold in Melbourne today, but in Perth, temperatures in the low 20s. Glorious late autumn day, and uh, the players will enjoy this if they can get hold of the footy. And Lamb's got it now at centre wing. Smothered, well played by Broderick again. Wine, left foot. McCarthy, good take. Rode a bump off McKenna, did it very well. Chance now. Armstrong's kick towards centre-half forward. Lynch, he's already kicked three. Takes wide on. Left foot to the pocket. Stevens gets back. And a thump away by Djakovic. Troy Eagles on the ground. Bruce coming up to the forward line. Hind is the player off. Fitzroy wanting a goal. Leading 25-14. to 14. There's the throw-in. Djakovic got it down. Stevens dives on top of it. And a bounce. Just over four minutes till quarter time. 4-1, plays 2-2. Sellout crowd here at the WACA ground. Over the top, Stevens. McCarthy to Boyd. This is Waterman. Well, that was interesting. He seemed to put it on the ground. Opportunity in the pocket for Armstrong. Impossible angle. And so it proved. He slams it across the face. And a minor score.
Matthew Armstrong, who was so well tagged by Andrew Obst last Saturday against the Demons in that thriller. The margin is two goals. This is Waterman in the back pocket. Might have been lucky a minute ago for not going, for holding it. Here's Kemp. Short to halfback. Clappe tacks it strongly. Three Fitzroy players against him in the end out of play. Jakovic to do the ruck work. Stevens coming in. Oldest man out there, Stevens, at uh, 32, but uh, one of the fittest. It's a young body. Lyon. Lamb. Harding. Good pressure, firstly, by Broderick. Now Lamb's squeezed the left foot. Nice hands there, Seacamp. Dunstan. Well, he's taking his time, and then squares it to centre half forward. Lynch will be the target, gets him. Not sure if he was exactly the target, but he got him. Now Lynch can thump this. He's held it up, and the goal square completely vacant. I wonder if he'll go for it here. Well, he oh. went for it, but uh, didn't get it at all. It was a poor attempt in the pocket. Well played, Baldwin. Chance for Armstrong to do something effective. Squeezed the little left footer, but straight to Djakovic, who certainly enjoyed coming away from full back after having his colours lowered in the first 10 minutes. Goes wide. Evans is there. Wine well played. Held it up and forced it out. There's Evans, a key player last week against Geelong. Wine picking him up. Harding and Manson, well done by Manson, superbly. Down to Baldwin, who pulls it back inside the 50. Lamb goes up in front of Broderick, takes the mark, wants to play on and does. This is White, forward of half back to West. He's on the wing, Robbie West. Kicks inside the 50, Bugle storming up the ground. It was a tough pack. A couple of players slow to get up. Zanotti feeds it out wide. This is Ruse, quickly onto the boot, well played. Now McIntosh with McCarthy just jogging at him. I thought the whistle had gone there and McIntosh gets the ball away. That was terrible football from about three players. Back it comes towards the wing and it's out of bounds. Well, what was McCarthy thinking about there? Who knows? And McIntosh is looking for Hetty, but the kick was very poor. Harding, Manson. Manson... Uh won it but it was ineffective Harding's left foot to centre half forward wrestling match going on between Johnson and Hetty Clappe taps it forward Worsfold's handball hoping Hugo was there with Hetty Johnson holds it up and it'll be a ball up at centre half forward with a minute remaining and West Coast Continuing to come back at Fitzroy after trailing by four goals. Lewis brought down. McIntosh, good smother. Uh, free kickers are going to uh, Fitzroy for a throw. It is. So for the second time in the match, West Coast has kicked a goal. And there's been a free kick paid just beforehand. I think Hines was the first time he ran into the goal. And Lewis had given away a free kick. And now, Horsfold's left foot snap. So the Gale's got it. Runs away, goes wide to centre wing. Lynch a target. Yuga was in the front spot. Broderick's handball okay. Zanotti to centre wing. Could play pipe. Very, very clever. Excellent take. Goes short. Evans, 20 seconds remaining. Evans goes short. There's still a chance. West, if he can move it on quickly. Inside 15 seconds, Lewis provides the first lead. West decides to go for Hetty and Clappe. It's to the square. Hetty's at the back. Clappe's there. Round the body. Snap. Is he going? Hit the post. Bad luck. Clappe's behind. Basically on the siren. And there it goes. So a quarter time in a most interesting opening term. It's Fitzroy by 11 points. It's 4-2 the Lions. 2-3 West Coast. Started the second term then. What are you feeling in that first 30 minutes? One down by Manson into the path of Gale. Hacked out of midair by Waterman. Down towards half forward and McIntosh. Is it right half forward? Shocking kick. His kicking tonight has been very, very poor. He came in nursing a thigh strain. Here's Ruse out of defence towards the outer side. Harding the flyer from behind. Dunstan appeared to be held. No free kick. Waterman to Lamb, who kicks it down towards the 50. Ruse goes back, got a hand to it, close to the boundary line, content. 
to run it across. There's McIntosh up to set half forward with Hugo coming on late in that first quarter replaced David Hines. He's in a pocket alongside Chris Lewis. Boundary throw in. Over the top clapper, but it's going to be a free kick in front. Paxman interfered with. Missed a lot of last season because of a back injury. There's Matt Clappe, who flew from behind. Here's Paxman in the back pocket. It's a centre wing. And Fitzroy with the edge in the opening term. Waterman's third touch in this quarter. Jakovic trying to sell a dummy, unable to do so. And Manson takes it between centre wing and half back. And a lot of footy. A guy who's had his critics over the years, 126 matches, the 26-year-old. Awkward but often effective, not this time. McIntosh getting back, Pike receiving. Left foot into the centre, a good one. Waterman very prominent early in this term. There's Evans's kick. Lewis was his target. Didn't go in the end, Elliott went. Quick kick away by Baldwin. Wind. Running it towards the boundary and out. Wilson in pursuit. So it'll be a boundary throw in. Harding and Manson again. Manson working his way to the front. West thumps it clear. Boyd running across in front of Ruse in hooking it back. But uh, Evans at centre wing taking a comfortable mark. And he broke into the West Coast team with a great performance for WA against South Australia and Adelaide in the non-state of origin match. Hetty from uh, half forward. Eugle in the front, Zanotti well played, Lewis tried to rob but couldn't do so, Boyd went to ground, Lewis and Eugle both put a tackle on him, and Boyd able to hold it up. Bounce inside the attacking 50 for the Eagles, Manson goes up, wins it decisively, down to Zanotti, who hugs the boundary with his kick and it runs out of bounds, so an effective kick that one. Here's a throw in down towards left half forward. Manson. Harding did well. Wilson knocks it on to accommodate the run of Kemp. Just inside the 50. West sold into trouble. Back it comes to Kemp who proceeds to give it away. Roderick kicks it towards the wing. Awkward one for Armstrong. And it spills out of bounds. The Eagles going to have to share the ball around that forward line. It's very short so they have to do a lot of leading. Too many tall players there to take overhead marks. Harding in front. As a result, wins it down beautifully into the path of West. Goes looking for Lewis. Over the top, Elliott. Falls to Ruse. Was held. And certainly let the umpire see it. He's got the free kick at right half back. Not much to it, but he worked on getting the kick. Towards the wing. McCarthy. Up he goes. It falls in front. Lamb. Now he's opened it up for Fitzroy here. Down goes Boyd. Great tackle by Kemp. Saved the day. Goes looking for Hetty in from the side. Seacamp does very well. Some good play all round there. Firstly Kemp and then Seacamp. Swings it out to centre wing. Well, Pike, good fly, unable to hold it. Hetty, good tackle on Hetty too. Stevens, Pike again with the footy. And it'll be a bounce up at centre wing. Pike over the top. Did the job on Bairstow in the second half last week. Got the job on Armstrong tonight. Harding and Manson. Manson works his way to the front. Gale and Worsfold. Kemp's little handball. Evans's handball. Uh, trying to break the tackle was Clappe. Good tackle there by West. Some pressure. Dunstan's kick oh. is a beauty, isn't it? He's got right. some class. McCarthy. He really should kick this. I know he's on the 50 metre line, but he is a good kick. He's been in form this year. Missed one in the opening term. There's no reason why he just can't go back and put this through. That's what you'd be hoping for anyway. A line supporter. Ex Kangaroo now line. It's been a frustrating player. Drop punch. He's kicked it beautifully right through. Never going to miss. And McCarthy kicks his first. And the Fitzroy are out to 5 2 to 2 3. Yes, and he's involved in the swap with John Blakey, who is such a great servant for the Fitzroy Footy Club. Robert Shaw looking for more attack and a key player, and he's picked up McCarthy, who's done very well this season. And Dunstan delivered that ball beautifully. McCarthy 
plenty of room and a great finish. Seventeen points the difference. This is Boyd out of the middle this time. Fitzroy down towards their half forward line. Great judgment by Warsfold. Plays on immediately. Lamb wants his left side. Has the time to do it and kicks it down towards half forward. Heady in from the side. Johnston got a fist on it. A whistle off the ball. And it's against McIntosh and we'll go to Paxman. There was a lot of body work. Watch this again. It's the right the left arm being held. Like a boa constrictor. Or two of them. There's Paxman. Boots it towards the outer side. Knocked on by McCarthy. Kemp, lively, to West, who's playing pretty well. The kick, half smothered. Down towards half forward and Ruse. The look-away hand pass comes back to West, right on the 50. Hoisted very high. One-out contest now. And the judgment is shown by Seacamp. This is Elliott. Nicely done. Kept his head and finds Gale. Fitzroy keep the ball. This is Baldwin towards half forward. Armstrong a problem with the lights initially. The ball runs free in midfield. Evans collides with Warsfold. Not a few to walk away from that. Pike goes out wide. Taken out here by Harding. Paul Harding forward of the wing. Not a particularly good kick, especially when you've got a short forward line. Ruse over the top. Evans in the grass did brilliantly. Hines tied up by Broderick. Well played. Got it to Ruse. Now the numbers favor the Lions. And Noddy goes over the top to Wind. And wide goes in short to McCarthy. Fitzroy looking good. Hines on for Eugle. And playing with some confidence too, Dennis. Wine provides the run. Centering kick looks okay. On a long lead, Lynch. No free kick. Good defence by West Coast. Waterman was there to try and hang on to it. Stevens with an opportunity. Gets a quick handball out to Lyon, who's been quiet. Lyon goes back. It was the right option. Gale stops, props, takes McKenna on. Goes bang from 55 metres. Lynch gets into the back of White. Bouncing ball through. Goal. A long one from Gale. And a Fitzroy have stretched this lead out to 6-2 to 2-3, 38 to 15. When the end was a good option by Ross Lyon. Good work there by Stevens too. He's running hard. And Lyon here knew he had no one to get behind. But in front, a long handball. And Gale, plenty of time. McKenna nearly got to him. But gee, did he get a good break too. The ball carrying both Lynch and White. Good result. Just under 18 minutes till half time. The Eagles need a goal here. Pike to Kemp. Inside the 50. Paxman goes back with courage. Loose ball. Runs down towards the pocket. Down with Elliott. Quick thinking. heddy has got it now inside the 50. Pulls it back towards full forward. Paxman a fist on it. Back towards the boundary. Socket off the ground again by Hetty. Taken by Lewis. 30 metres from goal. Lewis under pressure. Pulls it back. Baldwin has to wait. Oh, oh. great mark. They don't come much better than that. They were coming from all directions. And away he comes with renewed confidence. He sends it out towards the wing. Here's Lynch in front, close to the line, can't keep it in. And it will be thrown in. Just a terrific defensive mark by Baldwin. Thrown in, the attacking side of left centre wing for the West Coast Eagles, Manson. Lynch couldn't control it. Lamb thumps it out. Kemp trying very hard. Hasn't got the ball, surely. Must get the free. And the umpire had a look at that. It was a late whistle, wasn't it? It was. I was watching umpire Rich. Maybe he was thinking of the advantage. <laughs> to whom? Well, maybe an eagle was going to arrive quickly. Well, there was confusion here. Uh, Wilson thinking it's his, but uh, pointing out it is Kemp's free kick. So Dean Kemp has it. His 13th possession down towards the pocket, McIntosh. They're breaking down at the present time on the forward line. Clappe to Kemp again. Lewis deep in the pocket. Spills to Hines to West. West knocked it away looking for the free kick. Zanotti's in there working hard. Boyd, was he pushed in the back? Yes, oh. he was. And he'll get the free kick. Advantage given to uh, Fitzroy Seacamp. Out of defence to centre wing. Oh, Lynch, big fly at the back. Claims it. Gets it. Crowd won't like it. Well, White had hands on it first, I thought. Yep. So things going with Fitzroy in more ways than one. Centering kick doesn't quite get to McCarthy. Dunstan, he's very clever. What can he do here? Goes to the pocket. 
Long lead line, McKenna with him and runs it out. A bit indirect in the end by Dunstan, but not many options. Lyon providing the only lead. And McKenna with the skill to go with Lyon and force it out. Another goal here would be a very dangerous with uh, Fitzroy doing the attacking, leading by four. Kemp, lots of touches early. And he's going to have to keep this work rate up to keep uh, the Eagles in business here. Fitzroy with a good record against uh, West Coast over the years. Hit outs, just favouring the Lions. Manson not looking. Lamb. Evans from the 50 metre line, out of defence, just blazes away, no confidence at all, or thought in that kick, Lynch comes back to take it, he kicked three goals in the opening few minutes, goes to centre half forward, Stevens caught under it, Djakovic came in late, West Coast off the ground, and Crummel that might have been, and out of play, so Crummel on, 15 to 38 after uh, half this quarter has gone. Thrown in, Stevens over the top, Evans on his knees, Warsfold, and passes to his own advantage, close to the boundary line, good effort by Wine to get him, Kemp in turn is grabbed by Gale, Boyd out of the congestion, and away comes Djakovic, gets it to White. White, through centre wing towards half forward, big pack at the fall of the ball, Baldwin read it best off hand, Sockers off the ground, and Gaines... About 15 metres. Brendan Crummel off uh, on the ground for Matt Clappe. Clappe uh, didn't get too many touches on Seacamp, both the former East Perth players. Harding works his way in front of Manson. Manson reaches through though. Here's Kemp again. What a game he's playing, twisting and turning. Gains about 30 metres. Manson goes up, claims the mark. Broderick on the wing, swings it wide. Here comes McCarthy, dropped it. Goes back, applies the tackle on Brennan. Crummel looking for Wilson. Spotted him. Now Wilson kicks out wide. Should have hand passed, I fancy. Waterman overran it. In front was Seacamp. Could have almost got a kick. This is Crummel. Hard against the boundary line. Goes down towards the pocket. McIntosh. Oh, well done. Oh, well, almost. It just trickled across the boundary line. And the crowd can't believe it. It's a conspiracy, they think, involving all umpires. Well, oh. <laughs> that's a terrific job. I think it stayed in. Waterman's handball. Heady, normally pretty good from this position. Right there, McIntosh in a wrestling match with Paxman. Elliot's been uh, on top of Lewis so far. Lewis puts a tackle on him. Well played, Elliot. It was a very good kick in the circumstances. And once again, Lewis not getting many touches with two and three early. And Elliott doing a good job. Hines late, Manson clearly. Good take, Gale. Handball, ambitious, but Broderick was uh, flat-footed, but did make it up. Hines, Wilson, quick little give. Lamb round the body. Heady front spot. Johnston with him. No free kick off the ground. Lewis was in there. Ruse coming in late. Well played, Waterman. Oh, great smother, Paxman. McIntosh's tackle was very good. Some of the defensive play here has been excellent. Crummel was in there. Zanotti gets involved. And a good passage of footy. Terrific. Six Fitzroy players just attacking the ball, not allowing the Eagles to break free then. Great defensive work. 6 2 2 3. Such an important match for Fitzroy at 3 and 3, just in the six. But they would lose a few positions, you'd reckon, this weekend if they lose tonight. Kick uh, not too good. Taken by Pike. Pike swings it out wide. Crummel was the target. Again, not a very good tick by Pike. Nice take, Hines. Hamble, OK. Little left footer to Wilson. From Crummel. McIntosh provides the first of the leads. Wilson, indecisive, goes in short. This is Crummel. Still too far out to score. Towards the pocket, and Hines. Great judgment, Hines. He turns around from 35 metres out. Has kicked a goal. They needed that one, that's their third. 3-3 three, three, plays 6-2, just over 11 minutes till half-time. Yes, and I think initially that Michael Malthouse perhaps uh, using the wrong tactics in that first quarter with Hines sitting right back in the full forward line and Wilson at centre-half forward. I know he was worried about Ruse, but Hines was their best player I was in that position last week. And he certainly showed his coach's value there. Great kick. 
Back to a 17-point margin of the Wacker. Manson goes in very hard. Warsfold got a thump away. Boyd pushes it forward for Fitzroy. They're attacking Lynch around the body, around the corner, and didn't squeeze it out very far. And White to centre wing. Hines, Elliott, good mark. Had the ride to sit and uh, playing with confidence. Ruse the target. This will be interesting. West gets back. Great mark. Ruse plays on. Can go for it here. Drop punt. Cross the face. Right to the goal square. McCarthy a big fly. And out of play. Ruse is great value, isn't it? That uh, he runs on, attacks, takes a chance. Right in the pocket. Fitzroy attacking. They'd love to get one back after Hines' very good goal. Stevens handball couldn't get it away. The tackle was a good one. Trying to burst his way through with Broderick, held up by a West Coast defender. Mm, screaming for a holding the ball decision, the fans here, and not getting it. And Broderick not too happy about the tackle on him. Here's the bounce then. Lyon ran into McKenna. And it's a behind. Some anxiety there. 6-3 to 3-3. Guy McKenna. Part of what's been a miserly defence this season. On average, the Eagles' defence is giving up only 85 points a game. That's far and away the fewest in the league. But scoring's the problem tonight. Here's McKenna. Well, the umpire may say something. He's taking a long, long time. McKenna finds West. Clever kick that. West in the pocket is the look away kick. Had to be spot on. <laughs> West back across the ground at Crummel. And again, nothing. He's in the opposite back pocket. Crummel goes for distance. It spread Fitzroy though. Manson oh. crashes into Lamb. Should have got a free kick, Lamb. He was pushed in the back. Coming down Manson unintentionally, but nevertheless got into the back of Lamb. This is Lynch, who started so well. Manson is hurt. Lynch, centering kick. McCarthy edged under the ball. It runs free behind. White did well. Confronted by McCarthy. The kick was touched. It comes to West. Lays it off. This is Warsfold. Haven't seen a lot of him. Boots towards the wing. Elliott, uh. well, he's killing Lewis. Across it comes to Gale. Now in turn to wind, under pressure, Boyd, look out. Warsfold arrived quickly, Kemp brilliantly done. And you sense perhaps the Eagles have lifted a little here. Kemp inside the 50, Zanotti charges at the ball. It comes off the barrel chest there of Hines, who's confronted on the outer side by Dundas. Well shepherded by Zanotti. Dundas draws a man, goes over the top to Dunstan. On it comes now, Johnston. Johnston oh. towards the wing, relayed free kick, will it be? It matters not, because on the outer side, Broderick has got the footy. Well, it's coming back, Dennis. And Dundas is on for Manson, who fell awkwardly after that attempt at Mark and going to the back of Lamb. Johnston from the half-back. Looks like Hugel getting ready to come on for West Coast. Johnston's kick towards half-forward. Stevens was in the front spot. Armstrong came across the back. Paxman down in the forward line. Kemp couldn't put a tackle on him. Paxman goes to the boundary. Not a bad result because he was under great pressure, off balance, had nowhere to go, got his foot to it and ran it out of play. You go on, Lewis off. Back injury last year for Paxman. He was out for the uh, second half of the season. Jakovic wins the tap. White, Crummel, Stevens, tackled by Crummel. Ball, says the... Uh, 30,000 people here holding it. The question was, who had it? 21 to 39. Low scoring match. Goals difficult. Jakovic goes early. Wins at Crummel, who's done all right since coming on. Handball wide. White. Pike. And playing for touch. Finds it. Runs it out. And West Coast can regroup and start again. But they're defending and they're trailing and the Fitzroy has made a splendid start Broderick Dundas quick kick to full forward McCarthy ran underneath it he's got a chance here McCarthy well played McKenna line with a chance oh. kept rolling couldn't quite make it over the line behind 6-4-3-3 this line who last year played so brilliantly early that made the Victorian squad 
faded away with some injuries late in the season. Didn't quite finish the, oh. the year off. This is danger. Straight to Broderick. He's a neat kick, lovely kick on the run, and well within distance here. Fitzroy very good at forming this defensive ring on the kickouts. Leaving the Eagles very few options, and that kick had to be spot on. Just carried. Average is a goal to match this man. This is his 80th game. He's kicked 77. He kicked this one. Very important, isn't it? That's 6-4 to 3-3. Gets close to the man on the mark. Very poor attempt. And not really good enough at all. 6-5, 3-3. You'd be disappointed with that. Golden opportunity. Not too many times you get an opportunity to take a mark from 40 metres from a kick out. Dean Kemp in a bit of trouble too. Sorry, Dennis. He's got a bit of a limp up. And news for the Eagles then. 20 points the margin. Oh. Dunstan on the outer side. Harding went down in front. The crowd screaming for a push in the back, but a free kick is going to Lamb. Holding the ball. So Lamb from half back. High towards the wing. Fitzroy have got the numbers there. McIntosh, the lone eagle. Off the ground by Dunstan. Half smothered there by Harding coming through Jakovic. High kick towards half forward. Timely fist from Seacamp. Well done. And in turn, Waterman gained about 10 metres. And a throw in on the outer side. With Mitchell White to come off. And coming on is Matt Clappe. Uncompromising game this one. Of two steadfast defences. Wind doing the work behind. Coming through Waterman. Zanotti full chested takes the mark. And stops which is a little unusual. Comes across the ground now. Ruse has it. A long kick is the order of the day. Clever football by Baldwin, who ran at the man with the ball and allowed the long kick to Stevens. That was well worked. Now Baldwin runs on. Clever football. Baldwin inside the 50. McCarthy troubled by the lights. Three behind. Clappe deflects it across to Lamb, and the Eagles will bring it back. Jakovic in trouble. He slipped. As a result, kept his head pretty well. Brennan. He's outnumbered, outflanked. The hand pass, as a result, not good. Pike did well. Dragged off it by McCarthy. Well, the Eagles have taken a long time to clear the zone. Crashing in there was Lyon. Great courage shown by Jakovic. Because Lyon, if you know he's behind you, doesn't make any concessions. He came off second best there. Jakovic has the ball. And there's indecision again from the Eagles. They look anything but the reigning premiers at the present time. Brilliant pickup, a high tackle. So Lyon will get the free. Well, this is very, very poor football, some of it, by the West Coast Eagles coming out. Jackovic had Lamb in the centre there. He just chose to ignore him and go defensively to the boundary. Lyon slides it right across the face. In the opposite pocket, Warsfeld content to get it out of bounds. Fitzroy with another golden opportunity to take advantage of a defensive error from West Coast. McCarthy, Jakovic, thumps it to the boundary line, gains about 10 metres out. Three and a half minutes remaining before half time. Hines on the boundary line. And Chris Lewis, goal either way would be a big swing here. So Mitchell White must have come back on. Went off for a couple of minutes. Kemp tries to burst his way through Evans, very quick handball and Crummel's handball was even quicker Lamb able to push it forward towards Evans, Fitzroy's hip and shoulder was good, Dunstan Court should go here, no the tackle was a beauty holding it up West Coast but they still trail by over three goals Harding wins the tap, Dundas Crummel was there, Kemp yet another possession that one not effective out on the full, under pressure, and it'll be uh, Dundas from the centre wing giving it to Broderick, who uh, missed an easy goal not too many minutes ago. Boyd has been all right coming in for Caven from the centre square. Centre half forward again, McCarthy shields his eyes, and Brennan takes the mark. So McCarthy having a few problems up forward, and Brennan from half back. Ten possessions for Boyd. Good effort, as Bruce said. This is West. He's been busy. Gains about 25 metres with a kick. White in front was held, according to the umpire. White will get the free on the wall. 50 yeah. metres. 
Mark Sinotti does have a tendency to do that when he's behind. He tends to pull jumpers. He thinks it's quietly, but it's fairly obvious sometimes. The umpires must ping that. You can't interfere. So 50 puts right within range. 6-5 to 3-3. Three, three. And the timing of that 50 is very bad from the Lions' point of view. You had the feeling the Eagles at the other end for about five minutes were like a boxer just holding on. White goes in short to Waterman. They have to lead, they have to run on their forward line because there's a distinct lack of height. So Waterman, who's got one, on a sharp angle and in the wrong pocket for his natural left foot. 6-5, 3-3. This to make the margin 14 points if it's a goal. Chris Waterman slides it across the face and the behind. So 140 remaining in the first half. Now what's the decision? The umpire's gone down. And checked with the goal umpire. Don't know what that was all about. The goal umpire obviously didn't hear an all clear. He's worried about whether or not McIntosh may have taken that mark before he crossed the line. Oh. Some back in the front row almost. Paxman, Crummel with a lot of courage. What a terrific mark. McIntosh the leader. Good stretch from the back by Paxman. White's take was good. And under pressure kicks it out on the fall. Lion fans breathing a little easier but still a minute remaining I'd love to go in with a three goal lead psychologically a big advantage at a low scoring game Hetty could tackle again on him they're working as a gang Fitzroy at the back Armstrong tried to squeeze it through Wilson held it up Zanotti got a kick away Stevens in the front spot guard comes in and claims it and it'll be a bounce centre wing just under a minute remaining, 22 to 41. Low scoring match on a perfect evening. Gale sat and waited for a moment, then kicks the ball to a space. McCarthy will be outnumbered, didn't get a very good bounce. Not playing with all that much confidence at the moment though. Brennan bangs it back to centre half forward. Waterman, White, short, McIntosh, couldn't hold it. Held it up though, Evans, three tackles on him. Play on called, still play on, holding the footy. Fitzroy's ball, Baldwin comes away, goes out wide and gets Dunstan, who's been pretty lively in the first half. Now less than 30 seconds remaining, you reckon Fitzroy would be safe now in possession. We're talking about a late goal either way here, which could provide a swing in the fortunes of the two teams. A kick to centre wing, Ruse was at the back. Can Fitzroy conjure up something or will it be West Coast as Pike comes away? And the siren sounds. Kemp, obviously not 100%. He was uh, getting some treatment before half time. And West Coast at 3 4 to 6 5. The umpires will not be popular here. Mitchell White coming off, but they reckon that had a raw deal to half time. 16 free kicks to 7. A bit like Adelaide a couple of weeks ago, Bruce. Remember that? That was pretty hostile against the Hawks that night. One of the problems, of course, with just the home team playing against an interstater, you often get this very one-sided reaction, so half-time here at the WACA ground, 6-5 to 3-4. Must perform, you'd think. 3-4, 6-5, 22-41, start of the second half. Fitzroy leading, can this long unbeaten run that West Coast has enjoyed since Fitzroy beat them at the Wacker continue oh that was a slick handball came from armstrong to johnston to fall forward lynch stop prop did pretty well the fence was good on him though crummel over the top taken by mckenna wanting uh, brennan strong tackle by mccarthy and a throw in in the pocket in context of the game a couple of quick fitzroy goals here would be very damaging at six goals to three stevens works into the front took it out of the air uh, lewis snared it play without anxiety in the second half with the freedom of being in the centre Waterman around the body, up towards centre wing clap a stretch, Seacamp at the back, he's got good hands Seacamp ran that out, and it'll be a throw in there's McIntosh on the boundary line 
who may be asked to come back on in a hurry, at least with a warm-up job. So is Hedy injured as well? Couldn't see like Kemp as the players looking uh, more damaged than anyone. Mm. There's Evans. Of course, Hedy came down very hard early in the game. Was quietened after that. Evans towards half forward. Boyd didn't have the ball. Dunstan in there. And Waterman. Dean Kemp really can't move off that right foot. It was very ordinary just starting to run that football then and just had no contest whatsoever. The West Coast Eagles, one of the best, come from behind sides in the competition. The best last season. We'll have to do it again tonight. Oh, there's Kemp. Hurried kick inside the 50. Elliott gathered it superbly. Now Johnston under real pressure. Down he went against the flow. Armstrong, that was very ambitious. And a whistle inside the 50 for the West Coast Eagles. Dean Kemp kicked that football and his reaction after as if he has a almost a broken right shin. Well, how much it hurt? Got to assume the others can't come back. This is Lewis. Dragged off it. Pike didn't have it. Play goes on. Wine feeds it out. Gale to Armstrong. This is Manson on the outer side. Towards half forward. Lamb is favoured by the kick. Bounces obligingly for him. It took a long time. The hand pass was hard. McIntosh couldn't control it. Lynch left without it. And the ball spills out of bounds. There's Hetty. And Crummel has come off McIntosh to come on. So he's back on the ground. He's picking up Lynch. So Mick Malthouse juggling the troops at the present time. Manson over the top. McKenna's left foot. Gale sits underneath it. Harding interferes. Well, legally, though. And did well. What would be the thinking of Malthouse there, or the coach? Um, well, Gale's going to get the footy. Um, why wouldn't McIntosh resume? Why would he wait for two minutes and sit on the boundary? Here's Gale. Runs right up to the 50. Centering kick, not good. Jakovic takes it. And Fitzroy, this is a golden opportunity for them, isn't it? Against the team that is hot favourite to win. Goes short to Warsfold. No Sumich, no Matera. You're leading by three goals. Kemp's injured. Hedy's obviously injured. McIntosh. And you've got to take advantage of situations like this. Let's see if the Lions can tonight. Kemp runs it to the boundary line. It's out. I guess if they asked Robert Shaw to draw up the script, that's the one he would have come up with. Well... It's made in Hollywood, isn't it? You wouldn't mm. believe it. That the uh, edge could be with you, and you've earned that edge on the scoreboard in the first half. Lewis, left foot. Wilson, who's had a quiet evening. Ruse just took it off Hines. It was clever. Plays it to the line. Out of play. West Coast in attack. White to go with it. And Paxman. White gets Paxman underneath it. Warsfold without it. Waterman, will he get a free kick? Gale, oh. no he didn't. Oh. And Kemp's going off, has to go off, just can't move and crumble to come back on. He'd been on and off that West Coast bench repeatedly tonight. And of course all this chopping and changing does nothing to stabilise the team. Robert Wiley having words with Dennis Rich in the centre there. Thrown in. Down towards right half forward for the Eagles. White taps it down. This is Gale. Runs it across the boundary line once more. 6-5. Players 3-4. No change to the halftime score. Fitzroy terrific in the first half. As we check those figures. It's been pretty even. Paxman wins it forward this time. Lewis. Grabbed. Slung. The ball's still in the field of play. No, it spills across the line now. And a throw in. Well, on average, the Eagles won by 56 points at the WACA ground last season. There's Dean Kemp sitting down. One thing's for sure, it won't be 56 points tonight if, in fact, they're going to win this at all. And say the odds are with the Lions at the moment. Wilson has other ideas across the face towards the opposite pocket. Awkward bounce. Elliott did very well to control it. Baldwin gets the kick off. It floats out of bounds on the full. Where they spot the ball will be interesting make the difference between a score from the kick and not. Well, Lamb's going to take it from about 50. Centering kick, two full forward. Waterman's big fly. Hines was with him, though. Eugle tried to trap it. Wilson waiting for it. Crumble tried to give it off. And away go Fitzroy. The kick by Dunstan. Up to centre wing. Brennan, good mark against McCarthy. He's beaten McCarthy. Goes short. West. 
Ten kicks in the first half. The kick to centre half forward. Oh. Big stretch in oh. the middle. Gale's handball okay to Ruse. West. No high tackle. West kicked back towards Zanotti. Got a bad bounce. It goes out of play. Well, Bruce, I've got to ask, why wasn't that a mark to Seacamp? Exactly. Goodness me. Look, what do you have to do? Look clear, didn't it? Not paid, so a break for West Coast, and they've been disappointed with the umpiring so far tonight, but they got a lucky break then. Hines wrestling with Paxman, and a bounce in the pocket. So the reigning champs under pressure here, dogged by injury, and Fitzroy, as Bruce said, have earned this position. A terrific first half by them. Can they go on? They need this. There's a snap, Goldwood behind it came from lamb just over 18 minutes till half time or rather three-quarter time three five plays six five and paxman assessing the options this certainly hasn't been a strength of the eagles tonight kicking in paxman members side with the kick and in front of strong mark is claimed there by crummel too far out to score but he is a good kick a kick from about 60. Goes long down towards the kickoff line. Taylor made for Elliott, who should have punched. Eugle almost the mark. Elliott tossed it out to Zanotti. And Zanotti comes away with it. Zanotti up towards centre half back. Not a good kick. It wobbles towards midfield. Taken by Lamb. Wilson at half forward. Fitzroy having problems getting the ball out of their defensive zone. Squares it back to West. No distance gained at all in those uh, two kicks. West wide. Just setting it up now. West foul from uh, 50 metres. Only 14 goals in his career to date. He's played 125 games. That one coming back. Right to the goal square. Punch through for a behind. A bit stuck at the moment, Fitzroy, though. 3665. Well, given the personnel, it's a hard way to make a living with those high balls coming in from yes. a set play, isn't it? And also the Eagles, obviously, their forward structure just lacking the, the necessary without Sumich. They know how to work when he's there, but now the, the interchange of players they've had, they just don't know which way to go. Paxman goes wide. Manson's his target. He's outnumbered. Hugo was in the front and has paid the mark. Ironic cheers around the Wacker ground as a Eugle from about 60 metres Hines provides a lead poor kick Seacamp just moves in takes the slot and this uh, consummate defender who's done everything right tonight from halfback kicks the ball to centre wing in front Stevens fisted away but only as far as Elliot he's playing well too he boots it towards half forward Brennan over the top of McCarthy off the ground by Wine an opportunity for Johnston now an opportunity in turn for Broderick. Slides off the side of his boot. Lynch works his way in front. Lyon storming up. McIntosh heads for the boundary. And he is quite content to run it across. So a throw in. At left half forward for the Lions. Who lead 41-24. to 24. Held without it there was Johnston. And the ball is out of bounds. Had heady early and uh, now running with Lewis Johnston correct throw in once more Jakovic wrestles with Stevens well done by Evans hurried kick back towards midfield important ball this one Baldwin takes it and sets off probing kick inside the 50 reaching over the top down there Brennan paddles it towards the boundary line and McIntosh crashing in there was Lynch it came off Lynch's calf I fancy <laughs> and it's going to be on the full. Well, the boundary umpire has the eyes of a hawk. Or an eagle. In front, the mark is held by White. For those people at home that turn Dennis and myself down and call off the numbers, James Manson's changed his. There's Dunstan. This doesn't happen. happen. To, I don't know. It could. <laughs> you frick my confidence. <laughs> well, I'll go ahead then. Dunstan towards uh, the centre square. Chance for Fitzroy. They've got some numbers. Can Worsfold hold it up? McCarthy. He's had a quiet night, just the one goal. Didn't do very well at all. In fact, this could be a big play, oh. but no. Baldwin takes it away. And did pretty well there, Baldwin, because he had very few options. Gale's handball okay. 
wine from 50, drop punt, Lynch at the back, McKenna, Lynch with his fourth, is it? Left foot, yes. A decisive goal in a low scoring match against the flow, 7-5-3-6. Yes, and the option, uh, a harsh one on John Worsfold, the option of the handball just going against Worsfold, looking for Evans to turn over and Jimmy Wine. McKenna just couldn't quite hang on there and Lynch at the back, favoured by the falling ball and an easy goal. So back out to 23 points again. There's Clappe towards half forward. Wilson soccers off the ground towards half forward. Or deeper. Boyd's kicked back towards the wing. Wines in front. Down he went. Evans spins out of trouble. Nicely done. On his knees. Made it awkward for Brennan who was held without it. He'll get the free. Brennan wanting to go. McCarthy stepping up from behind the mark. So Brennan, high to the wing. Boyd from behind, gets it on the ground. Broderick, ooh. and we'll have a bounce. On the wing. Harding and Manson. Armstrong, back towards Manson. Lewis did well, gained about 15 metres there. Clappe. Can't keep it in. Ken Boyd doing a good job. Clappe just the one kick, three handballs. He's been one of those West Coast players who's been on and off the bench tonight. And they've, they've had a few. Manson works his way to the front. Pike hurled and holding the football. Good tackle by Armstrong. Didn't leave Pike really with an option, but I guess from uh, Dennis Rich's point of view, Pike was a little stunned and uh, not all that animated, and he took it off him. Armstrong's kick was awkward for Stevens. Wine, Evans to try and defend on him. Wine with a bit of space. Uh, Evans did okay. Wine took a, bit, a fair while. McCarthy over the top was a slick handball. Paxman's left foot was effective around the body towards full forward. McIntosh back. Line held up by McKenna and McIntosh taking the mark. Obviously not 100% fit but uh, playing a key defensive role in the second half. Here's Crummel. To centre wing, Waterman and Seacamp. White, quick hands to Waterman. Slow kick but effective. Lamb swings, then goes towards Clappe, who turned his back. Half volley. Quick left foot, didn't really look. Maybe I'll give him the benefit, but I didn't think he did. Wilson. Bang. Right to the goal. Good kick. Eagle at the back and behind. But you're only hoping, aren't you, when you bang it up there at the moment because there's no one to take a big mark. Peter Wilson running with uh, Paul Ruse. Wilson with seven and three. And uh, Ruse has had eight and five. Paxman again. Just over 11 and a half minutes till three-quarter time. Swings it out wide. Manson, strong mark in front. It's going to be a free kick to Fitzroy in any case. Zanotti in front was pushed in the back. So Mark Zanotti, left half back. He'd be enjoying this at the present time. There's a strong WA flavour about this Lion team. He kicks to the wing. Up in front was Stevens. This is Lynch, a Tasmanian. Down towards half forward. Roosevelt kept his footing. Ooh. It's solidly there. The ball spills towards the boundary line. He was taken high. It was going to be a relayed free kick and will be paid to Jakovic. Jakovic towards half forward. This is White. They're taking a long time though, the Eagles, to set it up, to bring it in. Towards centre half forward, Hines on the lead. The lone big man on the forward line. He has to present himself. He'll kick from about 55. Goes for distance. Off to the right. And behind, not a bad kick in terms of distance. The Eagles creep closer. A game dominated by defences tonight. 7-5 to 3-8. Well, if you're a non-West Coast fan, you always feel that they find a way out. A great escape. You just 
wonder where it's going to come from tonight, don't you? Not much happening at the moment, Bruce, but the option of Hines has got to be at centre-half forward. He's got to be the target. That's where they're falling down. Lewis, big fly, unable to take it. Armstrong's kick to centre-half forward. Warsfold, clever. Back to half forward. Zanotti in the front spot. Ruse just waiting off. Goes bang with a high one. Stevens has to sit and wait. Warsfold strong at the back. Pike read it well. Swings it out wide. West underneath should take it. Lewis can run for him. Good mark, West. Lewis if he wants him. Now he goes to Lewis. Nice stretch. Quick left foot. Oh, very poor. Awful. Shocking. Broderick to Stevens. I guess the one thing, Ross, in West Coast favour is that Fitzroy are not putting anything on the scoreboard either in That's this right. third quarter. When they're turning the ball over, the Eagles, the Fitzroy aren't taking full toll of it. You're quite right there. Here's Zanotti away with a couple of bounces. He loves to do this. Oh, he's gone a long way. Ruse. Back or Mr. Zanotti completely. Hines from Harding. Now, here's a very good chance for the Eagles to make a pay. Eagle spins around, turns Manson inside out, goes bang and kicks a goal. The captain made a rare error and Eugle made him pay for it. 4 8 7 5. Yes, those little one two handballs have to be spot on, particularly with someone coming through the centre. But the pace is a knotty there, just falling low almost as it came off the hand. Not good enough. Um, in the Eagles' favour, they made sure they paid for this. I thought Eugel, he could have handballed a clapper who was on his left, he's just out of screen there. This ball just snuck in nicely. So the margin is 15 points, under 10 minutes, still three quarter time. Manson gets it down. Pike grabbed by Armstrong. And over the ball was Johnston. Oh. According to the umpire, he was pushed in the back. Johnston. Alongside the centre circle. Kicks it out wide. McCarthy gathers it pretty well. Feeds it back towards the wing. Taken by Broderick who goes back to McCarthy. McCarthy in short. Guard will need to go. Didn't have it. And will get the free kick about 45 metres out. Yeah, Evans the player conceding the kick there. Old teammates at Claremont here in Western Australia. No doubting that. So guard has the ball, left half forward. Fitzroy could do with a steadying goal. Goals have been scarce in this term, one apiece. Guard from right on the 50. Sends it high, down towards the kickoff line, in from the side, Manson. Runs free behind and goes through for a behind. Jeremy Guard spent the week in Perth, along with a couple of his teammates. With his old school just over the fence, Michael Brennan kicks in and finds Pike. Evans. Crummel. Wanted to give it off to McKenna. Now got Warsfold running for him. Centering kick by the captain. Wilson pushed underneath it by Ruse. Hugo McKenna. Oh, hip and shoulder was affected by a guard. Then rips it off McKenna. And it'll be a ball up. You look over that West Coast interchange and you see Kemp and Hetty. He's not the, good, uh, it might have even been, uh, was it Eugle almost got him, it was a double hip and shot right. up. Helping out Eugle there. Lewis, good take. His disposal's been poor, that time gets some distance, oh. Ruse running back. Showed a lot of courage. Off the ground, Hines, good take though, was it uh, Paxman? It was, chance though for a goal and White kicked it. Suddenly there's a turnaround. Missed it, he hit the, the post. Line. Sorry, West Coast fans. It's a point to White. And 4-9 to 7-6. John McKenna looks a bit out of it too. He copped another whack backing back to take a mark there. He looks a bit uh, non plus here. They might be calling for him to come off. Walking wounded for West Coast tonight. Zanotti's kick wide. Stevens on a long lead and makes it. And the amazing thing, Bruce, is it's the who's who of the West Coast Eagles, really. I said earlier, look at that bench with Kemp and Hetty sitting there. McKenna in trouble, McIntosh in trouble. And a shocking kick on the outer side. The ball just dribbled over the boundary line. So Fitzroy gained about five metres there after the mark. Manson, Eugle, who's doing pretty well. Kicks it down towards half forward. Over the top, Boyd. 
In goes West. So a real challenge for the lesser lights of the Eagles. West. Zanotti hacks it out of midair. Eugle goes back and takes a good mark. Or is it Lewis? It's Lewis out there. Showing a lot of courage. Kicking down inside the 50. Paxman over the top. Crummel tries to feed it out. Intended for White, chopped off by Zanotti. Back towards midfield and Pike, who gathered it brilliantly. Kicks into Harding. Armstrong has been quiet. Elliott does nicely. Armstrong now. This is Broderick. Well, that's a little clever. Or too clever by half, perhaps. It turned out to be clever. Pulled down by White towards half-forward. Stevens, a very lazy hand pass, and Jakovic comes away. To half forward, Wilson Ruse at the back. Could play Ruse, gets a free kick. Definitely held. I don't know what the crowd's going on about. His defensive work was good, and then he tapped it to the side. McKenna was committed to the tackle. And Ruse, who would know very well that he uh, did cost Fitzroy a goal with a poor handball, is holding on strongly. Lynch at centre wing against McIntosh this time. Centering kick. McCarthy's target, oh he went very early, too early, Brennan, Crummel, Djakovic, changes direction. Oh, well, shocking kick. Harding was clear, so was Evans, so was West. Well, here's a chance for Fitzroy, ball went to Stevens, who should make something of this, Stevens inside 50, commits himself to go for goal and misses. Not a lot of finesse there, 7-7 seven, seven to 4-8. 49. So it's 33 to 49. And as Dennis said earlier, just nothing happening on the scoreboard in this term. A goal apiece inside the last five minutes. Brennan to bring it back in. Goes short. Oh, bad uh, kick. Too far for Pike. Manson to guard. Guard short. Now here's a chance. Well, for the second time, Broderick's going to. Uh, not Broderick, this is uh, Armstrong. Broderick had a shot in the second term. Armstrong with a chance here. And why on those kick odds when it's just, they're covered? Why they just don't go long down the centre of the ground? Harding was there anyway. The percentage stuff is to do it. Get it out of the defensive area as quickly as possible. Big kick this. Armstrong, drop punt. Goes across the face and misses. So Fitzroy had some chances to really put a gap in this. It's 7-8 now to 4-9. Two points to Armstrong. So only seven kicks and four handballs for him tonight. So Brennan again. Fitzroy are playing a forward short. I don't know if that's the way to go at this stage. As Brennan comes in short and finds Djakovic. Djakovic chips it across to Evans. Maybe now's the time to go for the jugular as far as the Lions are concerned. Evans around the outer side. White the mark. Getting men free across half back. Pike goes for distance, down towards centre half forward. Hugel read it brilliantly to Wilson. Wilson from 35 metres out kicks a goal. Great running football by the Eagles. Just over three minutes till three quarter time. And that's a big goal. Only 11 points the difference there. And the importance of a clean take there. Mitchell White's mark was terrific there. Just controlled the footy. If he had a lost control, there are a couple of lines around him that would have been in a shot at goal at the other end. And Pike's kick was great. Effort by Eagle, terrific. And then Wilson to finish at that pace. As good. Well played. Thirty-nine to fifty, seven, eight, five, nine. Eagles come out of defence. Lambs kick to centre wing. Waterman leading. Boyd on his hammer. Waterman gets a handball away. Not effective. Johnston caught by Lewis. It was a good tackle. Roderick well, cleverly inside to Gale, who was able to weave his way through. This is an important attack for Fitzroy. McCarthy on a lead doesn't get that far. Mm. Clever and courageous mark by Lyon. Cop the whack at the same time. Yes, it looked as if Djakovic was set to come over the top, Bruce, but he just sat back a little bit here. Evans, good work in field there by Fitzroy and then Gale, a good driving kick. And here we see, oh, we've missed it. Lions drop punt, gives it a hook, gets the distance, and it just misses. So Fitzroy have had, uh, has had about uh, three or four chances where you'd say that 50% uh, of the time they should have converted and they haven't got one. They're keeping the Eagles in it, Bruce, aren't they? They are, by... 
not putting the score on the board. You just wonder if they've gone slightly defensive in their attitude and in their play here. I get that feeling. I think they're trying to save this game, and they're a long way from home. West to Harding, who boots it high towards the wing. Problems with the lights for a couple of them out there. Johnston goes back, takes a good mark, plays on. Very untidy kick. Now, the bounce on this area is troublesome, but Gale did nicely. Now swings it out wide. McCarthy with a man on over the top, and elects to hold it. Yeah, Lamb ran well to pick up Armstrong there, who is Pike's man. He's on the mark. McCarthy kicks inside the 50, showing the judgment. Baldwin, he's played a pretty good game tonight. 18th possession coming up. Baldwin, the short pass out wide. Wind has got it. Now he'll kick from about 45 metres, perhaps a little further out. Fitzroy needing a goal now. The challenge is coming. They're 12 points in front. They've played very well, but they're squandering opportunities. A little sideways glance. Now Jim Wine kicks from about 49 metres. Lynch will fly from behind. Got hands to it. Almost the mark. Guard puts his body in. Warsfold always does, and the ball's out of bounds, and it will be thrown in in the pocket. Stevens looks on with Dunstan. 44 seconds remaining and counting down. Jakovic, Manson, Lyon. Goal. Handy. Very handy. At 8-9 to 5-9, Ross Lyon with his first goal. And a Fitzroy's second goal for the term. They've kicked two forward in this quarter. And a West Coast has managed two goals five. Yeah, it's just the opportunist goal. They kicked three last week, which were very important. The game against Melbourne. And just in the right spot there. Read the play well. And a fairly easy finish for a skilled player like Ross Lyon. Back to uh, 18 points. With 20 seconds remaining before three-quarter time. Crumbles kicked to centre half forward. White to West, back to White. White goes for goal. Hines uses his body against Paxman. It's running and Seacamp able to run it through. So Fitzroy should be able to hold on to this almost three goal lead now at 5, 10 to 8, 9. Margin was 19 points at half time. And we're down to 17 here. So Siren about to go. There'll be uh, nothing happening from this kick. And it is three-quarter time, so you reckon Fitzroy has done the job in the third term. They've been able to hold West Coast. It's 5-10 West Coast 40, 8-9 Fitzroy 57, and it's still a very handy break. In the context of a low-scoring game here at the Wacker, Fitzroy will go in at three-quarter time, leading by almost three goals. West Coast made a run, Fitzroy got the late goal, and that's the situation as we take the break. Well, that game at North Hobart in round seven last year was something of a watershed for both these sides. What will happen here? 17 points the margin as we start the final term at the Wacker. Harding gets it down. First goal vital. This is Gard. Swings it out wide. Back goes Brennan. Held without it was Wine. No free kick. Brennan's got the ball. Feeds it to Lamb. That was strange. Wine was tackled about 10 metres off the ball there. Pike's got it. Left half back goes short to Lewis. It's not like Caulfield never saw that at all. Well, Jimmy can't complain. Only one player in the AFL has had more free kicks than Jim this season. There's Eugle coming up the ground. Alongside the centre circle, he swings it out wide. Hines on the lead. Wilson, great mark. Plucked it. Peter Wilson. Important kick. A kick from just inside the 50. Good looking effort, it slides to the right and misses. Almost won't do it. 5 11, 8 9. Brett Stevens off the ground for Fitzroy. Here's Paxman. You get the feeling Fitzroy have got to go for it. They can't sit back now and try and defend this lead. Paxman goes to the outer side. Ruse, great mark. And a free kick. Plays on Dundas. Chips it towards midfield and Wine. Wine will drive it down towards half forward. McCarthy's the target. Up he goes through his hands. Waiting behind McIntosh. 
scrambles it out of defence, it bounces on the wing. White storming up the ground, gathers it, forward of half forward, feeds it back to Evans. Evans wanted his left side initially, this is Lewis, right half forward, the Eagles, are they responding? Hines over the top, almost the mark. Can he control it on the ground? Leaves it for Wilson. Wilson pulls it back, Baldwin the saviour again. He's done that a couple of times. Yes, the kick from Lewis, I was sure he was looking for Eugle. In the end, he actually brought the ball back towards Hines. Eugle was the better option further down the ground. Yes, he took the wrong one. 42 to 57. Baldwin took a great mark in a similar position in the second term. That time fisted it through. Manson was the target. Harding was running with him. Zanotti. Good pick up. Plays on quickly to half or Great kick to, long, uh, to uh, McCarthy. Long way out. Centering kick. Lynch on the lead, but Crummel able to get back. And as mentioned, Fitzroy going for it. You get the feeling if they can kick two goals, it'll be enough, but they'd want to get them early. West Coast has only managed five and three quarters. But they're uh, starting to mount a challenge here. Horsfold goes round Dundas. Gale tries to run him down. Zanotti should take it, and he does. Quickly plays on to Ruse. That was better play between the two. The Ruse has kicked it. Gale went to ground. Should recover. Armstrong, not under too much pressure, brings it back towards half four. McCarthy attacks it strongly. Gives the handball back. Fitzroy, important here, they can maintain possession. Gale to Broderick he wouldn't want to turn it over here Broderick's kick to half forward and a good falling mark by a man who can kick a goal from a long way out you wouldn't want anyone better than this man to have taken the mark in Lynch that was marvellous play on the wing they kept their heads and they used the ball superbly yes and the reason why is they had blokes prepared to run over and help so when the bloke was under pressure teammate there was someone else there to give the ball to well he is a thumping kick and he's normally pretty accurate he's kick four could be the man for the occasion goal here would make it very very difficult i know it's early in the last quarter it leans back drop punt good looking kick it looks all right and five to lynch and what a contribution ross when you consider that it's nine nine to five twelve and this man has kicked five yes and the, the start he gave them was terrific with those three in that first quarter they got to that 11 point lead and here broderick just a good getting out of a bit of trouble as dennis said it was great work on the wing to keep their head and keep the footy in Keep the footy live as such and then a great falling mark and finished off with a great goal it's back in the middle evans over the ball Pretty hectic in there it's a free kick there to fitzroy against chris lewis who came in late on uh, jimmy wine is it so jimmy has got another free who's in front of him dennis i'm fascinated Tony free there goes the kick down towards half forward. Must be subliminal, I think, for the umpires, that name. <laughs> this is Lamb. Brennan comes away. Back to the wing. Seacamp in from the side. Well, overcommitted. The ball runs loose. McKenna doesn't seem to be 100%. Socket off the ground by Clapper. Eugle in front. Well done by Elliott. Wilson, with his blistering pace, pulls it back. Zanotti backed himself. Padded the ball away. Taken by a ruse to Seacamp. This is Elliott, forward of half back. And the Lions looking composed at the moment. Timely fist in there from Brennan, who's defended resolutely tonight. And the ball goes out of bounds. So a throw in, the attacking side of right centre wing for Fitzroy. Manson works his way in front, thumps it, but directly down to Brennan. Uncharacteristically fumbles. Settles back to the wing. Seacamp worked under the ball by McKenna, a master at that. It comes to White to Clappe. Inside the 50. Hines stuck out of hand. Elliott gets back to mop up. It'll need a foot race to the outer side. Going after it is guard alongside him, Crummel, but the boundary line is far too near. It's been good, Elliott, hasn't he? Had the job early on uh, Lewis and uh, he's mopped up really well. Ten kicks. That was effective to the boundary line. Wilson sweeps a handball away. Zanotti and White. It was a good battle. Here's Elliot again. Broderick put him under pressure. Elliot got back. Then the tackle on him was okay. Elliot gets it back again to Dundas. Well played. Dundas has kicked the centre wing. Free kick West Coast. 
In those packs, though, you get the feeling, Ross, they just want it more for Yes, Troy. they do. Yep. Some of the Eagles players, too, now, so looking pretty tired. That game Sunday taking a lot out of them. Well, both these teams were, came from behind to win last weekend. Fitzroy seemed out of it at Princess Park against Melbourne, and West Coast seemed out of it at Geelong. But to West Coast with one day less to get over it, and also the travel involved. West Court. Well, you wouldn't want to put down the glasses yet in racing turns, but, gee, if you took the odds, Fitzroy, you'd be pretty confident at this stage. They lead 9-9 to 5-12. They've been front all, in all night. And you just don't fit. Can't really imagine how West Coast can get out from here. C can you imagine it? No, well, goals have been scarce. They've only got five for the night. It would take something very special, but bear in mind they have some special players. I know a few of them watching at the present time. Dundas towards half forward. Brennan, nicely done. He's played well. Little chip pass. Evans has it. Between half back and centre. Kicks it out wide. Storming up the ground is Waterman. Drops the mark. Now he's on the wing. Nobody really to kick to. Eugle comes on a lead. The kick isn't a particularly good one. Close to the boundary line. Eugle. Elliott's got him. And that could almost be holding the ball. They go again. Eugle got up to stand the mark. Yes, he conceded. If you don't, my wife, I've never seen that before. An honest footballer. <laughs> he was tackled, got up, stood the mark. And there was no free kick. Amazing. White goes up. Clean possession. Dragged off it. And the ball bounces out of bounds. And I guess in many respects... That sums up the night the West Coast Eagles have had so far. It's almost uh, to an indication of the lack of fitness there from Eagle too. He didn't have the second effort to get up and get going again. And he comes from the side, gets a tap there. Lamb, caught good tackle by Ruse. They're doing it well. Uh, Fitzroy Elliott again. Oh, lovely play. Excellent footy. Uh, Armstrong was a hot one for Seacamp, but he had the hands to take it to Wine. Wine goes wide. McCarthy, they're going like winners to wind again wind with a chip pass lynch on a lead oh mackintosh lynch absolutely crunched yeah, gets Wersold, a free kick Wersold come into the side no eye on the footy at all just knew that lynch was leading in front there just took him out the hip and shoulder good decision from the umpire we'll see this here again wind too much pace for brennan just Wersold comes in from the side here look at this smash oh. gee i think lynch was just checking that all teeth were intact well this would be the blow, wouldn't it? This should seal it. It's kick five, drop punt, another very good looking kick, six. Home. There's yeah, some 14 kicks, six goals. It's a great effort, as you said, Bruce Yulia, in the context of this game. Still low scoring one. Just presented himself as off as he had to. Got the footy more often than not. Good build up by Fitzroy. They're running much better. The legs just carrying them further than the Eagles at the moment are taking uh, second posse too often. And an obvious, obvious free kick. Out to 27 points. And I think this is the biggest margin in the game so far. Seacamp over the top. Manson in trouble. Lamb put his body in. Kicks it down towards half forward. White with courage. He's got this mark about 60 metres out from goal. White, short, Waterman, possibly their best forward tonight. He'll kick from about 45 distance, shouldn't be a problem. The Lions by 11 points at quarter time, 19 at the half and 17 at three quarter time. They've skipped clear. Waterman trying to pull it back here to 21 points. Missed to the right. They had to have that one. So just under 16 minutes remain in this game, and the margin is 26 points. Paxman has been handy in defence, drives it towards the outer side. Ruse in best position. Up he goes, takes the mark. It's a good mark, too, because Wilson had run across in front of him and stopped his leap, and the Ruse determined. Can imagine him now really stealing himself for the last quarter of an hour realizing the importance of this match for Fitzroy and the number of teams around them playing one another this weekend 
chip away by uh, Broderick, was looking for Armstrong. Dunstan comes up, McKenna onto it, attacks it. Zanotti ran at him strongly. Free kick to uh, Fitzroy, not paid. Maybe the advantage was uh, interpreted there as Clape now goes for goal and kicks very badly, and maybe that's symbolic also. We're getting some symbolism here in the final term surrounding West Coast performance. Was the free kick paid there? No, no obviously no, not. No. 26 point margin. West Coast needing five goals in the last 15 minutes. Have only managed five in the first three and a half quarters. Yugo's got one of them though, from nowhere. From nothing. Two to Yugo. 6-13 to 10-9. Yes, certainly that's obviously going to help them, but I just, as you've mentioned a few times before, they've just lacked the impetus around the ground or someone to spark the midfield. They've lost all that run, particularly with Kemp and Hetty being off the field. Waterman certainly has probably been their best forward, but uh, he lacks a bit of support. Ten nine to six thirteen. Manson slapped back in the other direction by Lewis, knocked forward by Ruse. Guard on his knees. Jakovic stayed on his feet. Wins the ball on the other side wing. Fumbles. Well shepherded by Crummel. Boots it down towards half forward. Boyd up. Zanotti. Favoured by the deflection, lost it. Lamb comes in. Great tackle by Jimmy Wine. Look at Ruse. Terrific stuff. Pushed his way between two eagles, and we've got a ball up. Left half back. Well, Fitzroy. Underdogs tonight. Great chance here of defying the odds makers. 10-9 to 6-13. But the Eagles will not give it away. Armstrong. And it's out of bounds. A lot of budding umpires. Harding and Manson. Harding decisively to Crummel. Well done by Wine. Got a hand in there. Harding didn't have the ball. Was held a long time. Now a loose ball on the wing. Evans gets the hand pass away to West. The boy from Wodonga. He swings it down towards the pocket. Over the top, Paxman. Falls to Waterman. Open goal beckons. He runs a long way and he kicks it. Here come the Eagles. Just over 13 minutes remaining. And the Eagles get their seventh. 7-13 seven to 10-9. Yes, and again, the persistence is very important. Evans, who's just gone quiet. And West with the fresh legs of such youthful exuberance. They're getting the ball clear out of that congestion. And Waterman read that beautifully. I thought he was going to run too far, actually. Very lucky. Had a look around. Well played. And boast a great record on this crown, and they're not giving it away. It's 14 points of difference. It was 27 points. Manson long thump. Dunstan versus McKenna. To line. Good play, Dunstan. On a lead, Gale. And cop one. Obviously, Manson's cop one too. This line is a great pass here to Gale, just moving too quickly for Worsfold. Well, you reckon it might be 50, but it wasn't. Good control by Lyon. And to Gale, who's kick one. And you don't need me to tell you how important this shot is for goal. With West Coast challenging strongly. Gale gets in close, gets under it and hooks. On the full. Gee whiz. It was a kick of a nervous man in the end, wasn't it? And he's, he's quite a skillful player, Bruce. I mean, you, you just can't quite understand plays. He ran too close to the man on the mark in the first place, but it's a poor effort, really. Here's Brennan, but he's got to come back. Good kick over. Well, belief's an intangible thing, really. So you've got to believe in yourself, and if Fitzroy do, they'll win, but uh, you just get the feeling that things are starting to turn. West Coast have performed a miracle or two in its time. And this is so important for Fitzroy to stand firm as Lewis breaks away and goes to centre half forward with a long kick she Hines was held on to would have been a very good decision to pick it up great play by Paxman oh. outstanding little gift was to Broderick line off the ground by Manson it's untidy McKenna to White uh, not to White to Clapeo I should say 
Jakovic, who's been a bit slow all night, got a left foot away. Yugel running underneath it. Couldn't take it. Free kick, though, to Yugel hanging on. West Coast challenging strongly. Can get a goal here. Yugel to the pocket. Gale and Fitzroy run it away. Well, they've come face to face with their own ambitions here, Fitzroy. And they're a little bit frightened at the moment, I think. Lyon down towards half forward. That's better. They need a goal. Johnston goes over the top. McCarthy confronted. Did brilliantly. Rode the tackle of McKenna. Got it to Armstrong, who goes down towards the kickoff line. Could have almost been holding on Lynch. Well done by McIntosh. Well, how will the umpire interpret that? Out of bounds. He says, toss it in. Gee, Armstrong over the top to Dunstan would have been a gimme goal to Windigo. Just had to give it over the top. 10-9, 7-13. Lynch, clean possession. Snaps. Good effort. Just missed. Oof. He's already got six. And the clock running very slowly as far as the Lions are concerned. Still plenty of time, as you can see. 10-10, 7-13. Brennan goes out wide. Dundas will need to compete, and he does. Ball runs free behind. Gale on the fall. Stiff, unlucky. Yes, the two Eagles spoiling each other there in the contest. West from half back. Zanotti underneath it. Oh, good mark. It was a clever mark. Looked back, saw that no one was going to uh, come in late, and kept his eye on it. Well, five minutes ago, you thought Fitzroy could have uh, won with ten goals. You suddenly feel that they need another one, just to make it completely safe. McCarthy from centre wing. The kick to centre half forward. He was looking for Baldwin. Oh, oh what a mark! Well, he was out of it, surely. Oh. Great catch. <laughs> Brett Stevens can't believe it. <laughs> he almost looked... Oh, out unbelievable. Of <laughs> he goes short to wind and takes the mark. That was interesting by Dunstan as Wine was coming to mark that ball. He was shepherding. He had the arms out. He wants to be very careful. <laughs> kick from about... Uh, well, they say always keep your eye on the footy. <laughs> ball that lost it completely and it fell in his hands. Now, Wine to kick what should be a ceiling goal and he's put it through. Well, here's Lewis and Armstrong. We've had them home three or four times tonight and then got a bit uh, of a shock, but surely now, Roscoe. Yes, and this mark by Bull, unbelievable. Oh. Clappe thought it might have carried, but he just had his hands out, their eyes closed. It was a great mark. And then Jimmy Wine just running down the ground, as you said, too. Then it's done some there. A little bit of shepherding, not seen by the umpire. So it's back to 21 points. Broderick. Inside the centre square, the close quarters to guard. Gale gets it to Broderick again, who chips it out wide. Dropped out there by McCarthy, who was then pushed in the back. Nothing subtle about that. And he's got the ball on the outer side well. Well, they've shown a lot of grip, the Eagles. A number of injured players. McKenna, who's not 100%. He dropped a mark there. But they've kept coming. And Fitzroy is still, I'm sure, not feeling that secure. Dundas could have held the ball, yes, in fact, he's pinged for a throw. Good effort by McKenna there, he's out of it, just kept persisting. Got himself back in the contest. Across the ground he comes. Warsfold to McIntosh. Forward of half back towards midfield. Wilson, timely fist there from Ruse. It ricochets across to Lamb, who boots to half forward. Gale did well. Got it down in front. Manson took a long time. Lamb. Crashing through was Baldwin. He's played a very good game. Zanotti. Baldwin didn't have the ball. It'll come back to him. Baldwin coming up for his 21st possession. There's Mark Zanotti. He'll be enjoying this. It seems now. The four points belong to Fitzroy. I'm sure not a game they budgeted on winning. Not so much today, but when they looked at the fixtures at the beginning of the season. Whoops. Armstrong. Well, that was silly. Sold into trouble. White to Pike. First blemish for Baldwin tonight. Pike does well. 
Swings it inside the 50. Ruse is down there, and that spells trouble as far as the Eagles are concerned. Used his body well, cleared apart for Zanotti. And around the outer side they come, Fitzroy. Broderick goes towards the wing. Dundas was pushed in the back. See Camp and Gale getting it to Broderick. Dundas' free kick, seven and a half minutes remaining. He told us earlier, Dennis, how long has it been since West Coast has lost at the Wacker? Long stretch, isn't 15 it? 15 games on the trot, yeah. Back to a Fitzroy victory in 89. So we're four years away from a defeat at this ground, and we're seven minutes away from uh, that long sequence surely now being broken as Seacamp goes long to centre half forward. Stevens caught underneath it. Good thump away to Clapay. Clapay's handball over the top. Lamb. Put Brennan under some pressure. Lamb now under pressure. And Fitzroy able to take it away, although snared beautifully by McKenna. Back to Evans. Must get a goal out of this attack, West Coast. Eugle there with Elliott. And Wilson and Eugle and out of play. Four goals needed in six and a half minutes. Eugle with two. And a real blowout there, Eugle. 55 to 76. Working hard on the forward line. West and Dundas and out of play. So that's the Fitzroy bench and the story of the night for West Coast has been they just haven't been able to kick enough goals. It's as simple as that. Seven goals in three and three quarters of footy. Guard goes back under pressure. Broderick, well, he kept it in. And Elliot makes sure that it goes out and gets uh, an unwarranted push, really. Over the little boundary line. The ball was dead surely at that point. So a throw in. Under six minutes now. The crowd trying to rally the Eagles. White to Waterman, who's dragged off it. The tackling has been superb from Fitzroy. Guard a high kick floating towards the wing. Jakovic goes back. Didn't have the ball. Socketed off the ground to Evans. Across it comes to Clappe. Clappe just forward of the wing. Tries to go to White and succeeds, who plays on immediately. This is Wilson. Open goal, going back, Hines can't get there in time, and it took an unkind bounce. Yeah, she almost initially looked as if Hines thought that was going through for a goal, and was undecided to let it go or try and take the mark, and the end it eluded him. Well, I suppose by Fitzroy's standards this season, this is something of a blowout. Four of their games have been decided by a goal or less. But this seems now that it's theirs for keeps. Just believing hush around the ground, really. I don't think the crowd, when they came tonight, expected Fitzroy to show the pluck they have. They've been terrific. Ball on the outer side. Ruse in front, held. Slapped on, though. They keep it going their way, Fitzroy. This is Baldwin, good evasion. Liked his game. Probing kick around the outer side. It pitches just inside the field of play. And Stevens well advised to take it across the line. As the time ticks down, and as it does, West Coast chance going with it. 7.14 to 11.10. Harding and Stevens. Dundas has uh, been mainly off the interchange tonight, thumping it forward and out of play. Rear side here too, Bruce. A lot of the crowd starting to leave. Stevens, Harding. Crummel. Brennan's handle okay. Evans inside to Lamb. Lamb from the centre square to centre half forward. Zanotti, Lewis and Wine. It was uh, Manson, I should say. Zanotti got it back to Ruse. Good kick by the captain. Wide. A defensive play. Right to the line. McIntosh will push away by Lynch. Well done, Lynch. Kick good to McCarthy. Well done, Lynch. He's kicked six goals and has been clearly the class forward in this match what a good player he is he can play on either end of the ground Lewis and wind off the footy McCarthy just uh, happy to eat the seconds away here claiming he's got no one to kick it to realising all the time that uh, we're down to about three and a half minutes centering kick well it wasn't too good in the end because Jakovic on his own took the mark well, Jimmy Wine's in an awkward situation at the moment the man with him won't leave him alone. 
embarrassing. There's West around the outer side. Across it comes to Evans. Evans through the middle. Eugle on the lead. Good strong mark that was. Eugle goes out wide. Here's Crummel. It was normally a good kick from 45 metres out. Not the distance, not the direction. The clock continues to run. Just over three minutes remain. In fact, it's down to three minutes even now. And below, 7.15, 11.10. So the margin is 19 points. Paxman, like a pitcher. Shakes off one. Now settles on another option, goes towards the outer side. Plenty of body work there, and they call it against Ruse that yeah. time, and Wilson gets the three. So Peter Wilson, right half forward. Short. And West. And until he comes from Madonga. Well, he's coached now by his old coach, Jeff Geesham, who's doing a terrific job locally with West Perth in the WAFL. Comes into Hines, and Hines has the ball in the right full forward pocket. Hines. That's a terrific kick from there. Just misses. And behind. So just over two minutes remain. The Eagles get closer, but not close enough. 7-16 to 11-10. It was always going to be tough tonight. Who was going to step up and kick the goals? Well, unfortunately, Eugel and Waterman were only multiple goal scorers. Paxman Long was looking for Stevens. Pike. And uh, Broderick in there at the end and uh, Wind has now gone on to uh, Evans to get away from Lewis I don't blame him oh. for what's been going on he's had his toes trodden on for the last two minutes it's been quite ridiculous it's the first time a back pocket's been tagged I think oh. very immature kick by Lamb Seacamp and he's defended stoutly and he'd be very happy with that end result over the line as the people continue to uh, go home because the Eagles have been beaten at the Wacker ground tonight. They've had um, the disadvantage of having a number of very good players injured, but full credit to Fitzroy. It's been a typical gutsy performance by the Lions. The kick by Elliott is good because it stayed in play, didn't go out on the fall. Clappe, Harding squares it, but we're inside the last uh, minute and a quarter. Lamb, centre half forward the kick. Hines was in the front spot. Gale, who's continued to work hard. Oh, good take there by Gard. Clever to Paxman to Ruse. And Ruse to run it away. The captain steadies out to centre wing. Lynch, who's been outstanding. His contribution's been uh, six goals from full forward. And he really set it up too in the first ten minutes. He gave Fitzroy the break, which they've really been able to hang on to for the whole of this match. It's been about two to three goals for much of the game. And that's what Lynch did in the first 10, 15 minutes. He kicked those three goals. Fine mark by uh, Brennan. He's been an excellent defender for West Coast. Short. Evans. So the last right's been played out. White with a stretch, unable to take it. Lewis. He's been uh, ineffectual. No impact tonight. Wilson. Mark by Waterman, arguably the best of the forwards, and that's it. So Waterman to attempt to reduce the margin to 12 points, and not a good kick, and not a good night for West Coast, but what a great night for Fitzroy. Halftime last week, they looked down and out for the season when Melbourne led them by five goals. They picked themselves up and won, and tonight they've won at the Wacker ground. And they're the first team to have won since they won in 1989 at this ground. 15 in a row, as Dennis told us earlier, for West Coast. But not tonight. And in a low-scoring game, the Lions have prevailed. Yes, they're flying the flag out there at the present time. And what a terrific victory. They are one of the hardest-working teams in the competition without question. And tonight, this whole victory was fueled on that and the inability of their opposition to kick a winning score. I suppose by their standards, the Eagles would be happy to hold Fitzroy to 11-10, but nothing happened at their end of the ground. John Rogers now talking with Mark Zanotti after Fitzroy's victory. Well, Mark's just uh, farewelling some of the Eagle opponents. Mark, what a wonderful win. Congratulations. Yeah, the really, boys really put in tonight, and uh, the game, game plan went well, and it's just a great win, eh? 
Mate, I don't think I've ever seen you so pumped up. Quarter time, your eyes were ablaze. Yeah, I, well, you know, the state game's just around the corner, mate, and I wouldn't mind being a part of that, you know? I've never seen the Fitzroy side so desperate, particularly in defence. Yeah, well, I think the troubles we had at the club and everything that's going on down at Fitzroy has really pulled the place together and we're really playing on heart at the moment and the forward line's really operating well too. Well, your defence was uh, absolutely rock solid. I mean, the Eagles had plenty of midfield possession, but they just couldn't finish it off. Yeah, I think any team to keep the uh, Eagles down to seven goals is really good stuff. And uh, I praise all the other five blokes down there, Ruzi, and all the young blokes, Marcus Seacamp. Mate, you're sweating like hell. I know you want to get the heck out of here. Weather, Thanks for talking to us, and congratulations on a wonderful effort. Thanks so much, John. Okay. See, you, see you, mate. <laughs> One of the great characters, isn't he, in the game, Mark Zanotti. And his night tonight, along with the Lions, as they win 11-10 to 7-16 from the Wacker.